Today we are going to be writing a method to return only one item. So this method is going to take an ID and return the record that corresponds to that ID. So let's go on to write it. And remember, we are going to write it in the service, but in the service layer, and we also write it in the controller. So let's start with writing it in the service. So here you have the procedure is here. So try to follow it. Don't skip anyone so that you don't have challenges. So let's open the service. Uh, it should be in the services folder. So here we are going to simply write the method and the name of the method is going to be get one. So public, uh, public student is just a single student object gets one and it takes uh, a string value an integer value of the ID of the item to, to retrieve and so we are now going to say return uh, student repository dot find by find by ID and we give it the ID of the student to part to find. So, all right, so let's see. I think we got it. Change the method. Okay, optional. So, this is fine. Change it to optional student uh, so that it will be able to handle null values if there are empty values. So, having written it in the service, the next step is that in the controller class, we also write the get one method. So, let's go to the controller class as well. So I'm going to open the, the controller class. So they, let me just make some room here. So now I'm going to say ask, uh, I'm going to say public. Um, so now again, we are going to, for the get one method, we are going to return uh, the student object because now we are not returning a page. We're only having to work with only one page, the HTML page. So if you are going to do anything, it's going to be to refresh the page. So for now, the get one method will return a single student. So we are going to say public student uh, get one and it takes uh, an integer value that represents the ID of the student to get and we simply say a return student service dot get one and we specify the ID okay so what are we missing out here uh, optional fine okay now the end point that will provide this data we need to specify it so it's going to be slash slash get one so we have at request of slash get one. Now there's something called resource based URL. So if we say slash get one slash ID, uh, this kind of is a resource based, it's a resource based URL, meaning that if we say slash ID, we specify the ID of the item. But now I don't want to do that. If we are not using resource based URL, it means that we are going to do something like question mark ID is equal to. So in this case, the ID will be supplied as a parameter uh, to the query string, as an attribute to the query string. And that is what we are going to do. All right, so um, it's going to be returned as a response. So you, you use this as response body to specify that the, 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 the data returned will be in the response body. Control shift O. So if we go to slash get one, most likely we'll get an item, uh, a single student. So let's test it and we specify an, an, a parameter based URL to get one of the items. So I'm going to just run this. Meanwhile, I don't know if I did save. So just, let's just rerun it again. So this time we are trying to return a single item. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you have challenges, let me know. If you've not subscribed, click on subscribe button now so that you can subscribe to my channel. All right, so let's go ahead to have student list. Fine, so this is the list of students. 
Right, so I'm going to now go to get run. Okay, nothing happens, that is good. So it says the given ID must not be null. So let's see. I'm going to say ID equals two. ID equals two. Good. So we have we've created it and it returns a single icon. So if we pass another ID, ID is equal to four. It also returns a student with ID equal to four, as you can see. So this is how the get one method works. So let's see the next item uh, tutorial uh, 18. We are now going to write the add new method. So I'd like to thank you for viewing and also remember to subscribe and like this video if it's been informative for you. And we'll see you in the next lesson.